Hey everyone, welcome back. You're watching DHTV, and today I'm going to show you how to unjailbreak your iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone. Let's get started. All right, now before we get started, I just wanna go through a few things to make sure there's no confusion. First off, you're going to need your lightning port adapter or your 30 pin adapter, depending on the device you're using. We're also gonna be doing this through iTunes, so you're going to need iTunes, a computer that's got iTunes installed on it. And also, just keep in mind, we're gonna be restoring the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, so anything that you've downloaded through Cydia, any tweaks, or anything you got through the jailbreak will be gone and deleted. Now, we are gonna save a backup, so that means everything like your content contacts, your photos, any applications that you downloaded will be available to you. But the applications, you will have to go back into the App Store, re-download them. Even if they're paid applications, they will be free for you when you go back to download them because you already paid for them. All right, so now that that's all out of the way, what you need to do is connect your device up to your computer and open up iTunes. So now that we're in iTunes and our device has popped up at the top right here. What you want to do is click on that. And obviously this is an old iPod Touch. It's actually the first generation. So you can see it's only got 3.1.3. Yours will be more up to date, obviously, because you did the jailbreak. So what we're going to do first is save a backup. So we're going to click backup now. And it's going to go ahead and back it up. All right, now just keep in mind that while you're doing the backup here that your iPhone is going to be in a sync and process mode, so don't touch it, leave it alone and let it do its thing. Also, keep in mind that this may take a few minutes depending on how much stuff you have on your device. All right, so once the backup has completed, you may see something on your screen here that says some of the purchased items on the iPod or iPad or iPod Touch, and it'll give you a few here, could not be transferred over. So what you're gonna do is just say okay to this. And now we can go ahead and restore the iPod, iPad, or iPod Touch. We'll go ahead and hit restore iPod. Now when you get the same message again that some have not been transferred over, you're gonna go ahead and say continue. This happens if you got some apps from Cydia that are no longer available or obviously because we are deleting the jailbreak, you can't have them. So it's just trying to let you know this as it's saying. So we'll go ahead and hit next, hit agree. Now you may have a couple of other steps here or a couple less steps, just follow them and okay it. Let it go through and it'll begin downloading and restoring. Once again, you'll notice your device going into recovery mode. So again, let it do its thing and don't bother with the cord. All right, so it's completed. Now it's going to go through and restart again on the iPod, iPad, or iPhone. And once it's started up, we'll go through the next step, which is to restore it from the backup. All right, so now that it has completed, we can jump back in to our iPod here. And you'll notice City is gone and it's pretty much restored back to its factory settings. So now what you can do from this stage here is either follow the on-screen instructions. If you're using a newer uh, firmware, it'll ask you like to set up your iPhone or restore from a backup. You can go ahead and restore it from your iTunes backup. Now in this case, I have to use iTunes because it's an older device. So it says right here to restore from backup. It's called Daniel's iPod. We'll go ahead and hit continue on that so we can restore it back and get all of the files or all of the stuff that I had before. So it's gonna go restore in progress. It's basically gonna do the exact same thing we just went through from the previous restoring it, but uh, this is the best way to do it. Once it's completed, it's going to go back and restart. This may take a while depending on your device. All right, now we can go back into my iPod Touch here and you can see that uh, it's come back. I couldn't swipe across, now I have my YouTube app back. I didn't really have much on this device, but it pretty much took away the jailbreak brought me back to the original and then I restored it from a backup and got everything back. All right guys, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, remember to hit the like button down below, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help. I'll give you the advice you need and help you through the process. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.